we enter into that topic that's now as a the French Revolution. So the French Revolution actually in as for our syllabus after American Revolution only we have to be discussed but here for the sake of continuation of the topic only have chosen to discuss little early this one. So generally whenever we discuss that any topic while uh, like that revolutions certainly we need what is the causes for that revolutions. So what are the factors for that revolutions? So here the causes for that French revolution generally the policies of that previous, uh, predecessor rulers we were there Louis 13, Louis 14, Louis 15, Louis 16 we were there but only the exceptional case here was that Henry IV then rest of the rulers they were somehow responsible for the, these things but one after one will be discussed today that is that one the social causes what are the social reasons for this French revolution the first see during this period like during 16th and 17th century French society divided into two classes one class known as a privileged class one class known as a privileged class and other one known as a unprivileged so privileged and unprivileged classes so unprivileged and privileged generally as for the sociologist so during this period like when that almost all rising the period of this French Revolution the total composition of this uh, French like 24 million people out of this 24 million people like only the 3 lakhs people right around only the 3 lakhs people they were particularly only 2 lakh 80 thousand privileged groups only 2 lakh 80 thousand privileged whereas rest of the people means like 21 lakh 20 thousand people they were completely 24 million means 2.4 crores so 2 crores and rest of the people they were the what was unprivileged so completely total power was enjoyed by only 2 lakh 80 thousand people in this privileged group again we classified into two classes one known as a nobles and second one known as a high clergies and first one nobles and higher clergies the nobles and second group known as a higher right h i g h r right higher clergies and nobles who are the nobles here the nobles the great role was one who could see the king so nobles during that period they were able to be made the king whenever they required not only the king even they are able to be made the ministers of the king to sake of their self interest only so these nobles groups the uh, consist of that population 150000 people so these 150000 people enjoyed that social status during that period so particularly the clergy the nobles they enjoyed the status like a special seats reserved for them in theaters special seats reserved from uh, reserved from them for them in churches the wherever they goes the, they enjoyed all the privileges in terms of the sitting in terms of that other activities also they enjoyed that higher ranks uh, during this period and one more thing uh, of during this not only the sitting like their uh, residence like a mansions we called as a so the large palaces they built they enjoyed lavishly their life and apart from that one they were exempted from the tax it is a pity here they were exempted from the tax and duties to the state the nobility especially enjoyed the right of hunting fishing etc in the community lands they belong to be the second estate so estate what is i will be tell you the later there are three estates in the french parliament one is the first one second one and third one but here they were the representative of the second one 
So nobles, what they did here? Completely, they are enjoying their status, free from the paying of the taxations, and their general occupation and habituated are their habit only the hunting and the fishing, and for sake of time pass. So this is their luxury life instead of their doing any state duty or other duties. These are the duties of the nobles. And what about that higher clergies here? So higher clergies people they are around consist of that one lakh thirty thousand. This one lakh thirty thousand people, they are right one lakh thirty thousand. They are belong to be the first estate. They are belong to be representative of the first estate. So like nobles, they were also very much close to the king. So they belong to be the first estate. This class consisted. Who are the people? Cardinals, archbishops, bishops, etc. They were known as a higher clergies like the nobles in the second estate. They had <coughs> they had castles. Same thing. How that nobles they enjoyed their life, living in that palaces and living in that mansions. Similarly, these people also they are enjoying their life instead of doing doing their duties. As for that Christianity, particularly this Roman Catholic Church, the people they should not be enjoy their life, and most of them. So, what the conditions prevailed that pre Renaissance period like a, they enjoy their personal life and consuming all this whatever that against the Christianity and the church also. That much of the lavish life were enjoyed by the this higher clergies, but land uh, means generally while. Europe, uh, French. It is a one of the agrarian state in Europe, but it was not much uh, earlier industrialization as the uh, England. So that was the reason. Most of the completely it was agrarian society. Even though the people, what is the size of them total out of this 24 million, they are only the three lakhs. So rest of the uh, <coughs> two crores, like 30,000, 30 lakhs. So, thirty-seven lakhs. That people, they are uh, land holding of the capacity of the ninety-five percent of the population only the twenty or thirty percent. Rest of the land under the control of the whom? Only these people, particularly most of the land under the control of the higher clergies here. So, they literally competed with the worldly men in leading life of ease and luxury, which was highly under undesirable. So, just now I said. So, like a common man, they are enjoying their life, but actually they should be controlled their senses. Instead of that one, they are enjoying their life. That's the one. And next one, they had monopolized all the important positions in the church. They never cared to discharge their religious duties and try to more to live in extravagance. This shocked the moral sense of the nation. So, actually, they should practice with some ethics and morals. They should be role model for the others, but instead of doing these duties, simply they are enjoying the their lives. That is the one problem at the higher clergies. And one more thing here, it is estimated that the privileged class owned one fifth of the landed property of France. That means one percent of the people owned about around fifty percent of the land here, and then rest of the <coughs> land. Going to be the under the control of the maximum people who ever there the in unprivileged group. That is the reason. And one more thing here. So unprivileged unprivileged classes means here who are there? One called as a they are middle class. One group middle class. And one more in the unprivileged group they are known as a peasants. And peasants one. And third one who are urban workers, urban workers. One is middle class, second one peasants, third one urban classes, urban workers, and fourth one known as a the lower nobility and the clergies, the lower nobility and the clergies. These are the four groups, uh, consist in the unprivileged group, and middle class here. 